My granddaughter is in middle school, and it is that time of year for science projects. One popular engineering project is a catapult. So we've been working together to create a model of a one example of a catapult. Here is a SketchUp design, and this is a model of a Da Vinci style example where the energy is stored in these perpendicular sticks and we used ash as a material for that. In the remainder of this video I'll show how I recreated this ratchet wheel as in a clock gear. And I hadn't done this before and it was fun to recreate. I used a there are many photos online in the web that you can find myriad examples of various catapults and you can use these pictures to begin the design work in SketchUp and here is an example of what I used and here is a close-up picture just for the purpose of recreating this ratchet wheel. Turns out there are 18 teeth used here and the first thing I will do is to draw a circle and pick one of the ends of the teeth here and so I can look behind I'll turn on x-ray and I need another circle that's concentric with that one uh, and picks the bottom of the tooth but first I want to draw a line here out oh by the way when I drew the circle I set the circle to 18 facets and so that makes the circle circles equivalent to the number of teeth. So now I've got the inner circle at the inner diameter and I can trace out the shape of the tooth and bring a radius out to this point. And I'm really done. I don't need the circle both I don't need either of these circles and I don't need that line there now I want to make sure I've got a face yes I've got a face and I'll double click to get the whole shape uh, accepted and then I've picked the rotate tool and I'll snap on the center and then hit tap the control key and you can see that little plus sign next to the icon so that brings over one tooth at 20 degrees and at this point I can just type X17 and recreate all the teeth and easily use the racer tool just hold it down and knock out all these radii. I still have a face yes and that's good. Um, one thing I forgot to do is to show the 3 8 diameter hole in the center of the gear so I'm going to just redraw a line here so that I can find the center right there at the midpoint and draw a 3 16 radius circle. Uh, I'm going to change back from 18 to the normal default 24 sides for the circle and draw that 316 inch radius 
and get rid of this these extra edges and I still have my face which I want I don't want a face in the center so I'll just delete that and we're ready to give this shape a thickness which is 5 eighths of an inch type 5 eighths and let me turn off x-ray to have a look at the result 